want to share with you guys some tips on what we did to make them trailer friendly. So first off, I went ahead and laid out our backing first for the top and bottom. Once that was determined and screwed down securely to the steel frames, I followed after that. I wanted to take some of the slop out of them being able to be pushed side to side. So what I did is removed this, removed this, and I believe it was a 7 sixteenths or 5 eighths, one of the two. Anyways, I got my socket. I gave these approximately a half turn snug on top and bottom. And when I did that, now they ride a little bit more securely for trailer transportation. After that, the next thing was to secure them down with Velcro. So I went on Amazon, purchased some inch and a half wide Velcro strips and about 75 foot rolls. I cut each length to roughly 50 inches long, then secured them down in the center with a two inch Phillips screw and a quarter inch washer. And that's keeping everything nice and tight. I can't pull on that and it's not coming out. So I'll give you a perfect example of how they're secured down. If you come down here, what I did is I wrapped each Velcro line around the steady rack first one time, then wrapped the whole tire and the other side, locked them securely. Then I came back on this side, ran the loop through here, secured the steady rack first, because we don't want any slop if you go around here. Once I went around this, pulled it nice and snug, took all the play out, then I wrapped it all the way across. Now I'm secured right and left side, and the bikes don't move in transport, which is a plus. The last thing is down here on the bottom, we put all of the wheel chocks down at the bottom. And what I did was I got my cutoff wheel on a grinder and just carefully cut off a quarter inch of plastic. Once I did that, I took a flathead screwver, screwdriver and cleaned these slots. Then I cut about 12 inches of one inch Velcro, double sided, hook and loop. And I took these off, threaded them from the back, from the inside and pulled them out. Now, all I have to do is unstrap them, put the wheel in like this, pull this there, pull that there, and lock them. They don't move in the trailer. And that is pretty much it. The last thing to make sure the bikes don't hit each other is to loosen the two pinch bolts on the stems, turn these sideways. That way, no controls will hit either bike. And once we've done all that, uh, we can go down some rough roads and the bikes are secure. I have no scratches and our investments are well taken care of. So I'd like to say thanks again to Steady Rack for this wonderful invention and have a nice day.